Okay, so here's the Belfang uh, UV Farmer radio. I've got the programming cable going. I've got this going. Uh, basically, the, the factory software is set up as a spreadsheet. The problem, one of the pro many problems with it is that um, it, it seems to not have much of any help menu. Uh, We've, we, it's, it's not reading anything from the radio. We want to read everything from the radio and it, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's having issues. Uh, so hard to say whether having a radio turned on or off or in some other mode, the whole, the whole lack of, uh, uh, owner's manuals on these types of things is part of what, you know, we run into with this stuff. Uh, yeah, this, this stuff is just, you know, we'll try plugging maybe into a different USB plug. Um, but anyway, the way this is supposed to work, it's a spreadsheet format. You program your channels, which obviously there's a lot available. You can actually name a channel, so there's a word name, so you don't necessarily have to remember everything. And because this radio is capable of going up to 480 megahertz, okay, what it can do is it can get into the FRS and JMRS radio chart. Um, so you can legally use this radio, let's say, on FRS uh, channels with your 5 watt output. And then if you have the JMRS uh, license, which you know a lot of people don't bother to get, but you can, you can sign up for those things. Then you can start going with higher output. And the way the programming works on this is you can actually, it'll change um, your transmit output according to which channel you're on. So, so you can do that. But realize that when these things are in the, you know, 400 to 480 band, that's well within the range of being able to do your FRS and GMRS, which is usually 462, for, uh, uh, the 462, 467 range, um, Let's see if they've opened up any additionals. Uh, yeah, and then of course the Midlands are doing some. What what this is is basically split frequency. Now the other thing that gets weird is that when you name these channels, okay, depending on different FRS and GMRS radio makers, they uh, they have different tone frequencies and tone squelches on this stuff. So. Even though the Baofeng UV5R can be programmed to be compatible with just about any FRS or GMRS radio out there, the programming is going to get real tricky, especially when you start talking about these lockout codes and stuff. But it is doable. The information is available on the net, radioreference.com. And, uh, and so you can do that programming, but i, I got to stress... If you have a group of people, or maybe even somebody in your town who's a radio specialist, your, your better bet is taking it to them. And what's going to happen on this kind of stuff is uh, these radios, even though they're relatively cheap, that's, that's only part of the game. Uh, the other part of it is getting them all programmed. And you may end up spending a fair amount of money for your initial programming map on these radios. Now once a program is created on the spreadsheet, let's say we've got over uh, uh, you know we've got we've got like a hundred different things on here. That same radio can be programmed to function as a FRS, GMRS, emergency services, all uh, pretty much everything you would expect to need because there's enough memory inside the unit to do all of that. Um, once once that programming is done, which may, you know, take some time and energy to do, uh, but there's some people in some internet forums that are going to have, like, standard packages so that it can emulate the FRS or GMRS radio, then what you should be able to do is upload that program package to a radio. So creating the program package, very labor-intensive. Getting it uploaded to the radio should be relatively easy as long as you're not getting the error codes that I'm getting when I uh, try to read or, or do anything on the radio. Uh, that's that's what I'm running running into a problem. So again, it, it's it's a bit of work to get everything going, but these radios are really capable of a lot once once you have the system going.